Hello friends, it's Sanwanani. Welcome to a new video. I know you're probably confused, like what the heck, Andy? What are you talking about? An empty apartment tour. I promise you, I'm going to explain in a second. I have this one really weird pet peeve where I click onto empty apartment tour videos and then the person gives me their entire life story for like the first 15 minutes of the video when all I clicked for was the empty apartment tour video because Ngitandi Daba, that's all I want. I just want to compare. I just want to see like what their interior looks like, you know? So I'm not going to bore you guys with that just yet. I'm going to put the footage of the empty apartment tour first and then afterwards I'm going to explain exactly what brought this about what's going on and yeah so if you're here just for the empty apartment tour don't worry i'll show that in a sec but then if you want to hear a bit of the backstory then please stick around let's get right into it <laughs> okay so this is the apartment basically there's the front door keegan is just outside talking to the contractor there's space there for a fridge um and then these are the cupboards this is what the kitchen looks like all along this wall. It looks so different compared to the first day I came here. It's wild. This is a gas stove, so you can put the little gas bottle in here. Um, I think you can make this little coffee corner. You can put your dishes there, and then there's all this cupboard space on top. You can put a microwave there. There's your sink. Some more cupboard and drawer space. And then this is a spot for the dishwasher. And um, yeah, then on the side you've got some open shelves which are nice in case you want to put books or just decorative stuff. As well as a desk if you work from home. If we come to this side, this is the living area. So you would be able to put um, a couch along here, a coffee table I suppose. And then there's the internet and plug points for a TV. I think you can mount it or even if you just put it on your TV stand, it's fine. And then we have sliding doors and there's a little balcony. It's small, but you can definitely fit everything you need as well as it's got a built-in braai. I think it's so cool. Every unit has a built-in braai, which is nice. And um, I like the down lights, the little lights there. It's just so cute. And then down this little corridor, yeah, I like this little desk and the open shelves. And then this is the, let me take you into the bedroom first. This is the bedroom on the left here. You got the two plug points for your nightstands. And then it's a little Juliet balcony, so it doesn't go out. You can't stand on this balcony. It's just like the railing is right against here, but at least you've got some nice large windows. And then this is the rest of the room. We have covered space on this side and another one on the side. So you can hang like your tall stuff here. And then you've got some more hanging space as well as some drawer space. So that's really cool. Most of the apartments are like a gray color, but I really like the white and wood. Like all of this light looks beautiful to me. And then of course we have the bathroom. It's a bit small, but I feel like they fit quite a lot in this bathroom. So over here is actually the washing machine hookup, which I love that they were able to fit um, a dishwasher and a washing machine in here. And technically this is space for a dryer, but in South Africa, not a lot of people have a dryer. So I thought like I might put shelves up here so the person can put their towel or they can put their laundry basket or whatever up here but there's also storage up on top and then we've got the little toilet with a shelf here so again I love the shelves because then it's a lot of space for like decorations and cute things towel rack is above that and the little toilet paper thingies on the side and then we've got a lot I also, although it's tight on space, I like that they still fit um, storage here. So at least there is a sink with um, storage under here. It's nice and small, but it's cute and mighty. You know, that's what we need. There's a big mirror above it. And then the shower is huge. It goes all the way across here. So the door slides all the way closed. And then, um, there's the shower head, there's a little window here, and then here's another shelf so that they can put their products there on that ledge. Yo, oh my word. And that's the apartment. Once again, hello guys. 
welcome to this new video my name is andy if it is your first time here i am a south african flight attendant i'm based in johannesburg and i vlog a lot about my life so if you are into lifestyle content but are also kind of interested in knowing what it's like to be a flight attendant here in south africa then please hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell as well so that you don't miss more videos from me all right so let me get right into it basically i've always had this goal in mind to have my own property and it was highlighted even more as soon as Keegan and I got engaged that that's something I still wanted to accomplish on my own outside of marriage before marriage you know and this has been going since July of last year that no April yeah this has been going on for about a year at this point where I first heard about this development applied for it and you know got the paperwork and everything going so it's taken well over a year at this point for things to come together but boy am i so grateful that they have so no i will not be living in that apartment it is already rented there's already a tenant in it already living her best life in there um it is literally just an investment property for me because that is one thing that i've always wanted for myself and then eventually when keegan and i are ready to buy our own dream house or whatever then we'll do that as well together but as long as i know that i have achieved this goal of having an asset outside of all of that first something that i accomplished on my own you know it's always been like a really really big goal of mine so that's pretty much the gist of why i did this and how exactly that's going to work so now i'm going to insert the clips of what i've been collecting over the last year or so we went through the entire development process you guys will see what my apartment looked like when it was literally still just a foundation when it was just like bare walls all of that stuff leading up to the final apartment and me signing for it and yeah the registration has officially gone through and it is mine. It's mine. Oh my gosh, ngasenga chabula guys. Yo, ngasenga chabula. This is one of the biggest and scariest things I've ever done in my life and I just I'm so proud of myself for still just following through, you know? Let me know in the comments if you want me to break down how much this cost because of course, because of course using a development is much cheaper then buying like an older apartment where you have to pay deposits and all that stuff but if you guys want me to go through like the cost of everything let me know and also my developer was already in contact with a property management agency so they literally handled the whole finding a tenant signing a tenant that kind of a thing and vetting the tenants as well which i'm really really grateful for because i didn't have to literally lift a finger with any of that kind of stuff but there are fees involved with that so that's pretty much mostly what i've had to pay for but yeah let me know if you guys would be interested in that i think if i can help anybody by being transparent about that then of course i'm very happy to do that um, i'm gonna love and leave you now please enjoy this vlog and yeah have the best rest of your day thanks guys gives on more on the next one bye for years and one of my biggest goals in life that I never really wanted to talk about online was to own my own property whether it's an investment property or it's an apartment I live in myself I've always wanted to own some sort of property asset before I was married and I'm engaged so this might have been the kick in the butt that I needed but back in June I saw this property online and it's a development so of course no transfer costs it's very like affordable to get into which i liked and i saw the plans i liked the way it was going to look i like the area because i know that getting somebody to rent it might hopefully be easier there's a lot of traffic there is currently i'm just really glad this is happening and this doesn't need to be a super long drawn out video with every single detail included it's just a highlight reel and it's me just wanting to document an important 
part of my life and a big achievement for me I'm 30 years old and this is my first property it's actually probably not going to be transferred into my name until like April next year I'm not too sure they've been sending me updates and everything and the reason I'm actually coming on here today is because it is the 28th of November 2023 and I'm about to go check out the apartment I think the roof is on I'm not too sure I'll show you guys when I get there obviously um, the progress I'll obviously film the progress when I get there and I get to choose my finishes today they've already sent them to me online but at least I'll get to see like the samples and stuff in person as well which I'm so excited about there it is the roof is coming on <laughs> The, so this is the kitchen. Andy, yeah. So okay. This is the kitchen part. So um, on this side, my body drawing is now again downstairs. But we've got your kitchen coming in this side, yeah. And and that's the, the desk thing, right? Yeah, the desk. I've got the desk here. Okay. Yeah. So I've got the desk here. And then all of this is the kitchen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then also, what uh, my architect managed to get right was to get on every unit a stoop with a with a brush. Yeah. I like, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah, because you also want to have a sit down and maybe light a fire and brown yeah. you know, so. Especially if it's like a single guy, they'll yeah. like yeah. all of that. So then, then also, what we have inside of the bathroom, we've got more a, a walk-in shower. Yeah. Um, the bathroom's actually bigger than I expected. Yeah. That's what, what I'm even showing you today. You know, I always say to the clients, you know, don't even visit us now. Rather let us... Now I want to see it like this. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, cool. Yeah, always say, yeah. Sink. Yeah. And then this is the you. washing machine area. Yeah. Okay. And actually, I must tell you, I'll show you. We can walk through everything. I want to show you that you have a good idea of everything. Like okay. That. Oh, it'll be cool. And it's a big window. Yeah. Cool. On the kitchen, let's start with the kitchen first, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay, so with the kitchen, you've got the, the grey and the lighter grey on top. I want to keep the theme the same. Yeah. So your vanities, even everything is going to look like that. Okay. Even your building cupboards are going to look like that. Oh, yay! Theme, oh, theme I like theme. that. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so that, that's then actually easy. And then these yeah. are my... Yeah, so what I want to show you here, Andy... Yes. It's the 20th of January and we've come to check on the apartment to Hello. see the progress. I don't know if they'll let us in, but the gate is open, so we want to see what we can see. This is the outside now. That's what it's looking like. It'll be painted. It's, this is primed right now. It'll be painted like a neutral color. And then these here are going to be like parking spots and walkways and stuff. But yeah, let's go see the unit. Oh wow, this is my unit. The floor tiles are in. Yeah. And then there's no door in it yet. I can see the neighbors as well. And then that is almost, the sliding doors are almost all in. This side is gonna be quieter. I think that's why I like this side. Because it's going to be quiet, it's not going to be overlooking the parking and all that stuff. There's going to be a built-in braai over there. And it's got like a small balcony here. And then this is the lounge. I'm pretty sure the TV is going to be on this side. And then you can put like a little couch on that side. And then the whole kitchen is going to take up this whole wall all the way across. And then, I'm not sure if it's on that side. Or on this side is like a desk as well for whoever's living here, which is so cool. And then, oh, is this the bedroom? <laughs> and then this is the bedroom. Oh my word. This is so cool. My windows are in. Um, I think the cupboards are going to be on both sides of the door. So it's going to be like a single cupboard on the side and a double on the side, I think. And then bed on the side because there'll be plugs on those sides and then giant windows huge windows floor to ceiling it's sealed on the ceiling yeah it's not going to be a balcony it's windows 
And then this is the bathroom. It looks dark in the bathroom, but at least the tiling is done in the bathroom. Um, what do they say they're going to do again? I think it's going to be, so this whole thing is going to be the shower. The window there, I like that there's this here, because then the person can put um, on their shelf, they can put their products. The toilet will be here, and I think the door is going to open this way. And then over here will be a washing machine, and it'll be like storage all the way up with the washing machine at the bottom, and then the sink over here. How oh, cool. This toilet area is I think it'll be fine. <laughs> Are you checking if it's enough toilet? Yeah, sit, pretend, and then the sink will be in front of you. The washing machine will be there. Guys, I can't believe this is my first place. Isn't it so cute? I'm sending it to your father. I will, hold on. Let me see if I can get hold of my sister quickly because she was WhatsApping me anyway. Let me see if I can get hold of her. This is so exciting. I just got the most exciting voice note from my apartment developer. Yeah, yeah, Tuesday the 5th of March. If I can ask you that you, um, if you will be available to meet with me, I want to go through the unit with you and um, you know, we'll be complete on that day with your unit. Ah, I'm gonna cry. What the heck? It's getting very real, you guys. 5th of March today and apparently my unit is ready. So it's Keegan's lunch hour. We're gonna go see it. The transfer is not completely gone through yet, which makes me nervous. But like, if the unit's ready, then that's great news. Because I'm excited to see it. But it actually came about quite quickly, I've got to say. Hey? The, they built it quickly. Yeah. They built it quickly, because you're still waiting for yours. How long is yours taking? Well, it's gonna be close to 15 or 18 months. Jeez. Yeah, Keegan has a unit that he's invested in that's in Cape Town that was meant to be ready by December. Yeah, by December 2023 and we're still waiting for it. Um, they're still not done yet, but they're almost there. It's fine. It's a much larger building and it's a much larger development so it makes sense that it's taking longer. Um, I just had to leave Keegan at home because he was only coming with me because it was his lunch break but he had to get back to meetings and stuff and everything was quite hectic when we were at the apartment just because like you know the builder was there and the developer was there and they were walking me through everything but there's a couple of things that aren't ready yet so I'm making a snag list before I can sign for everything it's so crazy I literally I'm just like having a moment of like I feel like this is so surreal because it's one of those things I've always wanted property you know like everyone is like oh I'd love my own place I'd love this I'd love that but then like you never truly think you'll see it come to fruition you know what I mean especially like for me with all of the downs that have happened in my career in the last few years with COVID and my old airline going into business rescue and stuff like that like just the lack of job security really made me like well I mean kind of give up on this goal so um this is so surreal and i i don't think i'll actually fully believe it until the keys are in my hand and like i've signed <laughs> i've signed my life away for the rest of my life and like the the real estate agent was also there because he wants to like make sure i have a tenant lined up asap and i was just like this is so bizarre so excited and I'm so grateful that like this is something that I continued to work towards and the fact that I am not letting myself down and I'm seeing it through is it's so wild it's so wild because like the satisfaction is just another level it's another level and for a while I was like okay maybe my first property will be the house that I buy with Keegan when we're married and all that stuff but at some point I was like no I can I can try this I can still take a shot like why not let's try this I'm so grateful I'm so grateful okay initial waiver she has initial please thank you so much for this afternoon I'll give you two weeks to come
Don't okay, don't touch it with the receive of revenue. Just stating that you're giving us permission to register the proper guys i was just at saa getting my medical and as i was about to leave i was sitting there talking to the doctor and everything and i got this sms do you see that do you see that like i could cry i could cry my property has been registered in my name it's been registered in my name what the heck <laughs> i am officially a homeowner what the heck officially a property owner not renter no i'm not a tenant no 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 i am an owner of property already a lot of the decisions about like the kitchen cupboards and stuff were decisions i made already and like i got the curtain rails and stuff like that of course but look it's officially mine guys it's officially mine holy shit i have to start paying a bond ah oh gosh that's a, oh, that's insane now i can finally share the news with you guys it's been months in the making yeah my son <laughs> dad what yeah. I'm going to go to the bank. 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 Oh, give me a sign Baby, give me a sign